Hey guys, Joe here from Theme Park Insanity, and yes, welcome down to a brand new vlog right here on Theme Park Insanity, where we are back at Flamingo Land for the first time this year. Really excited for this. It's not a full ride offering today. There's only a few sort of select rides running because, of course, it is February half term. But of course, we've got the zoo, and we've got a lot more. There's even live entertainment in there, which you can't really see right now, but I'll show you. But before we do go in, let's spin the camera around because there's been a uh, pretty substantial change over the closed season. Right, so a massive change here over on the entrance plaza to Flamingo Land over the closed season, where ordinarily, normally, you have ticket booths and quite a substantial queue. Well, it's completely open now, so you don't have that anymore. And of course, that does beg the question, if you were to buy your admission, where do you buy it from? Well, we'd imagine it's probably going to be over there in the information area itself. We know that you can get tickets from and moving there, but it's really opened up this plaza. It looks really, really nice, very, very open and nice and clear. Anyway, let's go get into the park and let's go see what February half term here at Flamingo Land has to offer. Okay, so getting greeted by entertainment as we walk through. We've got pirates absolutely everywhere. <laughs> Looks like they're having a cracking time. I'm very good, thank you. How are you? I'm really good. Fantastic. What are you guys planning on doing today? Riding as many rides as we can and checking the zoo out. Oh, checking do we have those vloggers? We do have one of those vloggers. Vloggers. Oh, are. What's the name of this channel? Theme Park Insanity. Theme Park Insanity. We're you have to, You find a computer, you have to take a look. Perfect. <laughs> How long has your dad been doing this? Twenty nineteen. So. Are you be using that there that YouTube capture? That's that's the correct. Yes. I thought so. Yep. Are you guys gonna come and see any of the shows? Or we are any of the schools. We are planning to. Yes. I think you should learn how to be a clown because clowns are better than pirates. Right now. Reckon, I think we've got a bit of a rivalry a going on here. It's no. true. I only yes. think the truth. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, we'll check both shows out. Never lie. Pirate only speaks in lies. One of these doors leads to a tiger. The other, a ravenous cage of baboons. Ask us one question. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah. Love it. At 11, there be wizard school. Brilliant. Yeah. At 12, there be pirate, and you can join the crew. And at 1, there be school with those weirdos. Fantastic. There's Lovely. Also, Peter Rubbish up at Muddy Duck Farm. You Brilliant. Like all there, Peter Great. Let's go check it all out then, in that case. He needs warming up. He I needs think, a good cup or hot chocolate. I think he does, and I think he needs a oh, toilet as well. A big pot of warm rum and coke. Perfect. I mean, that sounds like a treat. Anyway, have a nice one, you as well. Lovely to see you all. See you soon. Oh, there we are. So we made our way through the barriers and got greeted by clowns and pirates straight away. So as I said, yes, there is three different types of entertainment on through half term. <laughs> Uh, you've got Wizard School with various different shows. We'll take a look at this later on. You've also got the Pirates kicking about, of course, with the Pirates of Zanzibar show. Brand new entertainment team this year, so we're looking forward to see what that's got to offer. And then, of course, we also have the Clown School, which sounds incredibly cool too. Great to see Flamingo Land do stuff like this, of course. You know, it's family friendly, it's fun, it's entertaining overall. Great little additions. Anyway. We're going to have a bit of a wander around, see what is open. Mumbo Jumbo is open today, apparently. I think there was rumours of Cliffhanger being open. And then, of course, Select Rides in Dino Stone, as well as one or two of us, too. So we'll take a walk around, see what we can get on. And, of course, we'll take a walk up to the zoo as well. Right, so we're making our way towards the back end of the park. We're going to kick off our day with a ride on Mumbo Jumbo, which officially will be my first roller coaster of 2024. So, quite excited for this, really. <laughs> nice to be back. The park is really quiet today as well. And I'm also here with Baz, Cami, and Dakota. Hello. So we've got these guys for the day as well. We're gonna have a cracking little day out. Yeah. I don't think you've been for a while, have you? It's been quite a while. It's nice and quiet, just how we like it. Exactly. Yeah, it's My good. First time. Your first time as well. So there we are, all yeah. first. Nine. And ba oh, Baz is first time too. Fantastic. Nine million times. Yeah, and you're God knows how many times. <laughs> but yeah, as I say, making our way through. There's literally at the moment nobody around, which is lovely. It's nice to see it like this, uh, in comparison to busier summer days when you can't really get on very much of anything. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And it's a lot more relaxed as well. Yeah. Yeah. Which, to be fair, it was like this at Drayton Manor. Anyway, let's spin around. Let's have a bit of talk about exactly what we can expect from our day here at Flamingo Land. Right, so ordinarily today I was going to film a couple of POVs of rides, but I thought, you know what? I'm going to hold off. And rather than doing a couple today and then a couple another day, got to get on that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to come back in main season at the start of it, which is... Um, 16th and 17th of March we're down obviously at Towers on the 16th but we'll come back up I think on the 17th on the following weekend 
and I'll film all my POVs then because of course I can get everything you know kind of in one go it'll be a lot lot easier too so no on ride footage today sadly however don't worry there is still plenty of lots to look at <laughs> um, and obviously lots of new stuff to kind of sort of take into as I said brand new entertainment um, team this year so I'm just I'm just loving being back I really am it's so nice to be here um, and of course we've got stuff around the zoo too and then we've also got changes going on over near where Lost River is because they're making serious upgrades and restoration to that ride and looking over there now I can see that a lot of the rides drop is completely and utterly gone so we'll take a look at that later on but for now I'm gonna get on that let's go okay so engineers still doing their tests on mumbo jumbo at the moment and sending it around with test dummies in so Rather than do that, we do know that Cliffhanger is definitely open. Go have a ride on that, and then hopefully when this opens up later on, we'll get on this, but I do love that ride. It's so much fun. Yeah, it's great fun. Anyway, let's go get on Cliffhanger. So this is the first. It's that quiet, they're literally letting us stay. We've done one shot, but... Yeah, they said stay on, so I'm going to go again. Talk to you when we get off. Okay, so kicking off our day there on Cliffhanger. Great way to start your day, nice little shot of adrenaline. And to be fair, you can see a lot of what's kind of going on up there in terms of Lost River. Now, we can't really get as close as we first thought, which is sad. We might be able to do it from the other side. But a lot of the drop now has been completely removed. The lift hill has been completely removed. So the former kind of main element of the ride is now gone, effectively. In terms of what the plan to do, we only kind of really know rumours at this point. We don't know a massive about, amount about kind of what is coming to that ride. But from what we've heard, we're hearing new boats. We're hearing a completely different drop. Extended, so further on, further along. Lower than it was. And a whole brand new name and theme. As to when that will be, we're hearing at the moment 2025. But again, this is all purely just kind of rumours from different sources that we've talked to. Nothing official as of yet. So... In terms of kind of waiting for the park's official word, of course, we're waiting on that. But, yeah, I'm interested to see what they do with it. It's a real shame that they are kind of turning it into a different ride because, of course, Lost River Ride was one of my favourite kind of water rides in the UK. The drop used to be absolutely brilliant, used to get absolutely drenched, and it was great to ride on a summer day. But, of course, you know, with changes, hopefully come improvements as well. So, we'll see what happens. And we'll obviously keep our eyes peeled. Let you guys know exactly what is going on. Any updates that do come out, we'll share them here on TPI. So follow us on our socials and make sure that you do find out more in the months ahead. Right, okay, so joining the queue now for Mumbo Jumbo. Feels first go on this, isn't it? Yeah. Are you excited? Yes. It's quite a big ride. Yeah, I know. You're going to like it. <laughs> it is, yeah. Yeah, anyway, we'll jump in the queue. Hopefully, they open it up soon. Looks like hopefully the engineers are kind of sort of finishing up doing their morning work and testing and maintenance. So yeah, let's go jump on. I'll talk to you when we come off. Indeed. That might be actually. Right, Sophia's just done his first upside down roller coaster. How was that for you? Jeez, mumbo jumbo, up lift hill. That was steep, and um, that drop, first drop. Yeah. Lean forwards, go down. That gives you a very big force. You enjoy it there? Yeah, I'd love going you went upside down. Right. I'm going right. on that again. Good, fantastic. Well, we'll do that again later on in that case. Well done. Really, prou I'm really proud really proud of you. I'm gonna be laughing a lot. Good lad. <laughs> so there we are, another proud father moment again, right there. He's just literally done his first upside down roller coaster. Barely any apprehension whatsoever. Yeah, okay, it was a little bit scared, but no, that was absolutely smashing, it really was. And it's great that he's finally making those kind of leaps and getting on the bigger rides. So yeah, really, really proud of that. Looking forward to getting him on it again later on. And hopefully we'll get Cammy on it at some point as well. Yeah. Very proud. Right. Okay, so in terms of Lost River, this is as close as we can basically get, sadly, unfortunately, because they've literally gated it all off. Now, that's going to obviously change as we kind of go through the year. But if I just zoom in, you'll notice that the drop is now completely gone, which 
it's quite a weird sight, if I'm honest. I mean, we did kind of wonder if things were going to be changing as and when it didn't have a roof on it last year. But, yeah, you can kind of see over there that there is still sort of sections of the lift hill left. But the majority of the ride has completely gone <laughs> in terms of the drop. We'll take a walk around the other side shortly because I think, obviously, over on the zoo side, you might be able to get a little bit closer. I'm not 100% on that, but we'll have a look. I'm failing that. We can certainly zoom in and get you some pictures and show you exactly what is going on. But big changes coming to that area. So with the half-term event, of course, there are sort of certain rides open up in Dino Stone as well as um, Mumbo Jumbo and Cliffhanger. So I'm still getting over the fact that Phil's just done that. That's absolutely amazing. But yeah, I'm going to take a walk up to uh, walk up to Dino Stone, go catch up with you guys, see what's open up in there, and I'll show you. And I'm still, and I'm literally still amazed. You've actually How done I, that. Yeah, I don't. That was intense, very. I when I was coming to the car, I just seen it. Like, I seen it. I just thought. <laughs> Bye. But he's done it, and that's the main thing. <laughs> right, let's go see what Dino Stone's got to offer. Okay, so other changes for this year, they obviously um, it was revealed late last year that they were planning to remove two rides. Well, the planes that used to go there are now over there instead. The clown ride's gone. Not a bad thing. I think it does look like look like the engineers are doing some work on that. But yeah, that's moved over there now, which of course leaves that entire area there completely free. Flip flop still here at the moment. Obviously, we don't know what the future of that ride is. So another change there for this year. Not massive, but again, you know, it's a change. Anyway, yeah, as I said before, just making our way up this way to Dino Stone. So everything up here, apart from the Dino Roller and Pterodactyl, which of course is a swing ride, uh, appears to be open. Twistosaurus is open. You got the um, sort of like pedal gliders over there. They're open. So there's a few little rides here to kind of enjoy as a family. Again, I'm kind of gutted that that's not open personally, but I can kind of understand why, given the fact they are still working on it. You can see there, there's an engineer on the cherry picker. But yeah, a good few rides and attractions open around here. But in all honesty, it is just nice to be back and it's just nice to be here. Obviously it's our home park. We love coming here. We come here quite a fair bit, given the fact it's so close. Got it six not open of course but again you wouldn't expect that from a half term event but to actually have the likes of mumbo jumbo and cliffhanger open that's pretty that's pretty decent i'm happy with that but yeah gonna make our way through here now might hop on the twistosaurus depending on what the queue's like and if not we'll make our way up to the zoo So a bit of a queue for Twistosaurus. I think we'll give that a miss just for the moment. But it's quite busy here today. I didn't expect this many people to actually be here. It's nice to see families out and about enjoying themselves, especially at a park like this. That obviously it's, it's not quite as big as the other parks. You've got Alton Towers open, you've got Drayton open. So the fact you've got so many families here at Flamingo Land, it's absolutely fantastic. And you've even got the shop open over, open over there as well. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're going to make our way up to the zoo, have a look around there, and join us. This is one ride I didn't expect to be open. It looks like uh, Mischief Mansion's open, so yeah, let's go have a ride. <laughs> I'll tell you something, this camera don't do this justice as to how dark it actually is in here. It looks like it's fairly light, but um, it's all coated in UV paint, so it does look really, really nice. And obviously they made some improvements to it over the past couple of years. So yeah, let's go have a ride and uh, I'll talk to you when we come off.
just had some dinner, we've had a ride on Mischief Mansion and we're now heading into the zoo. Now it's been a while since we've actually been up here and taken a look round. So I'll show you guys a bit of obviously what there is, what you can see. Because actually, it's quite a decent sized zoo. So there's a lot more up here than you realise and it actually goes quite a fair way back as well. So if you haven't been to Flamingo Land and you haven't checked the zoo out or you've either been and you haven't, you definitely need to do it at some point because it's well worth checking out. There's a lot to see. Anyway, let's go have a look. So you can just see the black rhino down there. No, it's just sleeping. I'm gonna lie down. <laughs> Relaxing. <laughs> it's like we're venturing into the Wallaby Walkway. Let's go have a look. Of course, you've got two different sets of gates because you can literally walk and walk past right, literally right past them. There we are, up on the rocks. Oh, adorable. There's loads of them. Say some of these two are right at home in here. We should probably just leave them in here. At home here with the animals, although I think Phil belongs in the baboon enclosure, but there we are. Having fun? <laughs> How are you doing? I'll tell you something, it's an experience having to spend a day with these two. <laughs> and we're going past and we're going past my brother and sister and Phil and cousin. That's me and, you know what? No, that's they're me not, and the cow. They're not wrong. Baz and Cammy behind us as well. At the back of Baz's head. <laughs> hey Cammy, you're on camera. <laughs> it looks like we literally just walked in on uh, tiger feeding time. I think by the looks of it, there's a lot of people up here. And actually, it's not really something I think we've ever seen. So let's see if we can get a closer look. Show it with you guys. It's got a big head, hasn't it? Ooh. Okay, so we've just seen the tigers feeding. We just had a bit of a talk from the keepers about the red pandas as well. We're now going to go in and watch the sea lion show. So, getting to kind of look at a bit of the entertainment today. Um, obviously, in terms of like the other entertainment, we'll probably look at that uh, as and when we kind of come up in the main season. But yeah, let's go have a look at the uh, Sea Lion Show. Sharks, 
So absolutely fantastic sea lion show there. Hopefully you saw a few clips of it. But on this side, it looks like you can get a bit closer to whatever's going on with uh, Lost River. So let's take a walk around. It looks like we've got some scaffolding in place down here. Not entirely certain what that's for, but it's up over the trough of the ride, which assumably would be completely empty at this point, given the fact they are working on it. So let's see how close to the ride itself we can actually get and also what we can actually see. So we're just around the entrance plaza to the ride which obviously normally you'd be going in and out of just there. Now there's a lot taking place down here, we get a much better look at what's left of the lift hill right now, which is pretty much next to nothing in this case. So a good half of it at least has been completely pulled down. Let me zoom in on that there for you there we go along with this there's also a brand new structure that has gone in up and around where the station building is so all of the rides form queue line appears to have gone and it looks like we've got brand new steelwork that has gone into place here as well so in terms of this this isn't a small job this is really getting some serious attention and really getting transformed into something completely different which is absolutely brilliant. I can't wait to find out more about what we can expect from this. As we can see over there too, a lot of work taking place on the site of where the former drop used to be. And we've also heard a little bit about what we can expect from this in terms of from one of the sort of like members of staff here as well. So not really going to talk too much about that right now because obviously, you know, they'll told us that in confidence, but safe to say a lot of big changes are coming to it as well as a new addition. And also while we're down here, we see that the uh, cheetah enclosure appears to be missing a roof. Well, cheetah viewing area, not enclosure. So this is as far as you can get down at the moment. The rest of obviously is kind of sort of shut off. As we can see there though, the former queue line now is pretty much all completely gone. A lot of work, as I say, taking place inside there, as well as obviously creating a brand new structure on the other side. Now, whether or not that's related to the ride itself or whether or not it will be included as part of the uh, rides queue line we don't know at this stage but obviously we know we can only really speculate so a big transformation coming to Lost River now in terms of what we have heard and we've heard this from numerous different sources again as we said earlier on brand new boats brand new drop lower drop uh, extended trough above the top and it will drop out so drop down uh, quite a bit further over from where it used to drop on top of that they're putting in a brand new sea line enclosure with a bit of a beach for them and then, as I say, the whole ride itself is set to get new boats as far as where or where as well. So it's going to be a very different ride, probably have a different name as well. Yeah. Again, very excited to see what we actually get from this, because as I say at the moment, this is as far down as we can physically get. And there is a lot of work taking place. So there you have it, that's the latest on Lost River and everything that we know so far, or at least everything that we can see. Again, there are pictures on social media, so do go ahead over, check those out, there's links in the uh, bio or description below. So go have a closer look at those. But yeah, big changes taking place for the ride, a big transformation for it. It's going to be a very, very different ride when it does reopen. At the moment, no official confirmed date for that just yet. Estimated as far as we're aware in 2025, so a bit of a wait before it does, but I'm sure that the wait will be well, well worth it. In terms of the extra changes coming to it, we don't really know much about what we can expect at the moment, but it's safe to say it's going to be another great new addition and great to see the park taking care of their rides. Really, really is. Anyway, we're going to head round now to uh, Dino Stone. Hopefully, we might get a go on uh, Pterodactyl because I think it's reopening, or if it isn't, then uh, the other stuff that we can go on. Sorry, a bit out of breath. 
and obviously we'll grab a few more rides before we do wrap up our day here at Flamingo Land Resort. Right. It's just that bit, the hanging bit. That's the only thing that really scares me. Me too, don't worry, I've been on there. Only that. Oh, yeah. Say the sky sounds like what? Okay, so that wraps up our day here at Flamingo Land Resort at their half term event and it's been a really good day it's been fantastic ride reliability has been pretty solid throughout uh, we managed to get on a lot of the rides we wanted to do barring of course obviously mumbo jumbo last but overall it's been a great day it's been so lovely to be back here we've seen a lot of changes we've seen the most recent construction taking place on the lost river and obviously all the changes that will be coming to that we'll find out more about in the months ahead as well but really looking forward to being back here next month for the start of the season it does officially reopen on the 16th of march so i think we'll be here the week after all being well um and yeah just looking forward to getting obviously back on a lot of the rides here but particularly that bad boy behind me right there but i really hope you've enjoyed this video have any of you visited flamingo land uh, this kind of half term holidays if you have what were your thoughts on the offering do let me know in the comments below guys and for now if you have enjoyed this video please consider hitting the subscribe button turn on those notifications and again if you have smash the like button and let me know it's always really appreciated but for now i'm joe this is theme park insanity and i'll see you on the next video take care bye bye and bye bye from him too <laughs> yeah <laughs>